So I wanted to introduce, this is our longest drift video yet, it's 20 something minutes long, I've just finished editing it. Uh, this will let you know what's the sort of uh, effort that goes into preparing a drift day, testing the car, I'll walk you through the mods, and then I'll show you lots and lots of drifting. The car's amazing now with the work that Big Dave has done, and you'll see us have the best drifting experience we've had so far, and for a little moment you'll see us get the car airborne. We also get some good advice from Stu while we're down at the track, and we have a brilliant day. So, um, open a beer or a beverage of your choice and enjoy this video. We are going to Driftland to test all of our mods on the Subaru. We've got our new tow car, the Audi RS6. It is an outstanding tow car, highly recommended to anyone who wants to get rid of some money. We've got our new trailer, which is Brian James Car Hauler, which is extra light. Lots of mods that we've got to check out, make sure they're all working before we go to Crail on October the 4th. That's our next full drift day, so we've got an hour booked in at uh, at Driftland, just private day, so that we can spend an hour shaking down the car and see what ticks. Uh, mods on the car, there's lots of new stuff, so bonnet pins are in here now, so we saw lots of people where the bonnets were flipping open, we don't want that, so it's now pinned shut. The suspension's lifted on the front, and Dave has flipped the turrets so that they are now leaning backwards for a bit more caster. Still running the semi-slick tyres, although these ones are almost done now, those will need to get replaced. New carbon hood scoop, hoovering in lots of extra air for cooling. Lots of extra weight has been cut out of the car now. Behind this panel there's not an awful lot left there anymore. New hydraulic handbrake lever. Reservoir is still the same, but there's a new lever. New brake calipers at the back because they were split and leaking. So that probably didn't help with our, uh, our hydraulic handbrake. The spoiler is, is gone now. It's temporary project to replace it. It's coming up. And we've got about another three kilograms chopped out of the boot lid. So the boot floor has now been replaced, spare wheel wells gone, we just have a flat floor now. Um, this is the big ticket item, uh, the new performance fuel surge tank, so that will hopefully solve our fuel cutting issues. It better solve them because it's about a grand worth of stuff here. So we have a Walbro 255 pump in the fuel tank and then it runs uh, fuel up to a three litre tank here which has a Walbro 450. Um, which is good for like 700 horsepower, so it's a ridiculous sum, this car will never need that much. So boot floor is gone, that allowed us to cut more weight out of the rear here, much better access to the diff and the exhaust now, and less weight on the back, which is a good thing. That's not irritating at all. Suspension is softened up at the back to try and get more grip, lifted at the front so that we can try and squat the car backwards and see if that gets us more grip on the corners. Also it helps us with clearance on the front because the, the shorter knuckles, our first point that we'll hit when we go on to full lock is the uh, track rod end hitting the anti-roll bar drop link. So we've lifted the suspension to try and give us a bit more clearance but we'll see afterwards, that's probably going to be the first contact point that we hit. So, lots more lock, uh, power, now we're mapped at about 350 pound foot of torque. Boost is back up to its normal, so it's 1.2 bar of boost on a turbo which can do 1.4 bar of boost. And, nice broad torque band, 300 horsepower, but 350 pound foot of torque. It's mapped for drifting, basically. All of our new gauges are in as well. Oil pressure, we've got an EFR gauge now. And lots and lots of extra weight stripped out because there's really, there's not much behind here now. If you've seen from any of the photos, we stripped almost everything out. And next week the car is going to go and get weighed so I can find out just how good a job we've done. But that's it, we're going to head to the plan. We've got about an hour of track time booked. So let's get moving.
and tyre rack is on. Only two tyres on there because I'm not sure about the trailer weight yet until we get it weighed. But looks good. I mean, it's a stylish drift car. It's uh, or a stylish, stylish tow car. I don't know about the drift car. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit damaged. It's a bit weird. Are we, are we, are we drifters yet? I'm not sure if we're drifters yet. I mean, we certainly tick all the boxes: drift car, tow vehicle, trailer. But I still don't feel like a drifter. We must be drifters now. Gotta be. Two hours later. <laughs> Right, let's test this thing. Let me uh, let me give you my first impressions. Let's start slowly, and we'll work our way up to some speed. So there's more more vibration coming through the, the steering wheel, but that's not a big deal. Oh, it's got a lot more lock. There, it's like a fucking go kart. <laughs>
enjoying myself. Checking it over. I thought you'd had you, know, you went you went right on angles. Yeah. You come round by the office and there's a there's a, a, there's a couple of times I've been on the concrete a little bit. Aye, that's it's oh it's night and day. The, good. It's it's transformed. Good. Just for the sake of a bit more lock and squishy suspension. <laughs> We've got grip and power and all sorts. Yeah. Did you get the other pin? Yes, I check both pins. I'm in the office, there's a bit, I don't know if there's a bit of oil or something. Which no. You went, on, you went on like when I was behind, you went on like angle and then you went on even more angle. Like, that was me just being greedy. More power. <laughs> that was me just being greedy. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to do a few more of them. That's good. Tyre's good? I'm just checking, maybe sometimes obviously maybe it's something side to side either. Yeah. Where you these in? Uh, yeah, probably, I won't think I'll need them there. It's difficult to hold on for your life when you're holding some sunglasses. <laughs> Oh my god, I cannot believe it. I cannot it, believe how much difference such a small, well, it's small, but you know. It's small, I mean, it's not like someone's going to do that in their shed. No, but it's not, aye. Well, I mean, you could. You could if you were, I mean, idle stayed on there as well. Seems to be a bit happier. 
the uh, the yeah, small, small cannon grass we have to pick. Yeah. Otherwise we'll, we'll get we'll get the cancer, David. <laughs> well, you mean again? Again, yes. Professional opinion on these tires, David? Uh, fact. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're right down to the wires. Well, I dare say we've probably got our money's worth out of uh, Rennie's old tires. What a machine, David. You have made a Subaru drift when everyone said it wouldn't. <laughs> How have you done this? <laughs> Welding. Well, <laughs> sewing with metal.
let's change them and then I want to try the BDC line. I'm ready for a Big Mac. I've never tried a competition line before, this should be very exciting. That. I fucked up the I fucked up the entry and then it was like I nearly money shifted into first and then it was all wrong from there. Because <laughs> when you come round and settled on to three, you could see it because previously every run you'd done, you come on to three, you come out of three, yeah. it bounced, but that it settled instantly and you come round. Yeah. But you had way more grip that time. <laughs> <laughs> I shit myself. Such a fucking short ratio diff, there's just there's no real power band in it. I think what we've done by mistake is put a shorter diff on it. Okay. Because I bought a diff. Yeah. And then Dave welded that on the bench, right. and then we just swapped it on. But the original diff is still in the drift yes. shed somewhere. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's a longer diff. To me, it's, it's your, your next to no usable power range. Our drift day is over. Um, car is mostly und mostly undamaged. Yeah, it's above the back. I'll put that. So, okay. status report, these tyres are basically shot now, I think we need to get um, some new semi-slicks, but these made a massive difference. Side skirts are still on, I thought they were going to come off. We do. Um, wheels are a little buckled by the looks of it, but that'll be fine. That's a little bit around, yeah. Back bumper is definitely off, and we've bent the brackets, so I need to fix that. Uh, need to do something with the... Yeah. Lucy, 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 yeah. The boot lid popped open a few times because unless you've got it really solid on the catch on this side, it does pop up awful easy. Um, maybe just put a big spoiler back on and keep the weight down, <laughs> and then it'd be fine. Oh, there's a thing. What? what if it's none of the mods I've done, and it's because you've taken the spoiler off it drifts so well? That's why it's drifting so well. Fuck, it's because it's got less downforce on the yeah, back. That's what it is. Lack of downforce. So suspension needs to be a little harder. Stu was saying, so we'll put it on. Uh, um, it's got the adjustable thing and oh, this side, the whole day, this whole side was on full soft and this side was on full hard uh, so that's part of That our... also explains why we absolutely ruined one tyre Oh yeah, that tyre on that side is, is ruined because it's the one with all the grip Yeah uh, Other other points to note We didn't have to, so we're still on half a tank of fuel Let me just zoomy zoomy So we're still on half a tank of fuel, not a single fuel cut all day Not a which is thanks to da, 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 da. catapult. <laughs> so, fuel surge tank has absolutely done its job. Look at all of this. Mank. It's not full of tyres, by chance, is it? It is full of tyres, yes. Who would have guessed? Who so, we'll let it guess? seal up these holes in the side. Hello. This is getting dusty, but it didn't get impacted. I did think, like, we were in the, we were in the dirt drops a few times, uh, but no lasting damage. But I mean, you're not going to damage the wheel arches. There's not really much wheel arch left. It's mostly gone. Uh, hydraulic handbrake. No. It did, it did suffer. It's now working, but when you press the foot brake, <laughs> it goes in the forward. So this is a T-shirt wrapped around it. That was Stu's idea. Bungee cord wasn't quite cutting it. But whenever you press the, the foot brake, it would go forward and it was going to smash the head unit. So, a trusty t shirt, a drift mod from Stu, thank you. This airbag still needs to come out, it's deactivated, but it, just a little extra weight could be removed. Gauge is all working well. Our math, uh, I'm just going to start up, Dave, just to see if uh, I can illustrate the math. Make sure we're not in gear. It's been really hunting for its idol all day, except now it's perfect. magically fixed but it's been a problem all day which is fine when you're out there blasting the tits off it but if you're uh, if you're just trying to drive around it keeps stalling and that's a bit of a nightmare but car has run very well front bumper stayed on all day we have knocked off 
part of the mesh and we only used two and a half tyres so that's pretty good going in an hour and a half half a tank of fuel two and a half tyres and towards the end we were we were really sending it that's a success all round the scoop is pulling in lots of extra cold air uh, but it it does flap in the middle when you get up above 60 miles an hour so that's a that's a thing all in all very impressed uh, good day out good fun was had by all Dave has built a car which is mega and even though everyone said you can't drift a Subaru turns out turns out you can if you're good enough thank you for watching everyone look after yourselves make good decisions Drift the Subaru, it's a great idea.